zeros in division. John and Linda went on a sightseeing trip. In five days, they drove 2,050 miles. How many miles did they average a day? We know John and Linda traveled 2,050 miles, and we want to know their average each day. Since they drove five days, we'll take 2,050 miles and divide it by five. We're going to rewrite this in our alternate form, five into 2,050. Now this is going to be a really interesting problem, and what makes it interesting is the, pro the zeros that occur both in the middle of the problem and at the end of the problem. And you'll want to pay special attention to what happens to this last zero. When I start doing my division problem, I'm going to look to see if 5 will go into the first digit. Does 5 go into 2 evenly? Well, no, it doesn't. I can't think of anything I can multiply by 5 to make it equal 2. Therefore, I'm going to have to check out the, la the first two digits. Does 5 go into 20? Yes, I want to think of a number that when I multiply it by 5, I'll come very close to 20 without going over. That number is 4. The next step in the algorithm is to multiply 4 times 5. 4 times 5 is 20. When I do my subtraction step, it comes out exactly to be 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. 2 minus 2 is 0 as well. Even though I have a 0 in the problem, that doesn't mean I'm done. I'm far from done because I still have to use these two numbers. I'll bring the 5 down in its own column. It carefully travels down. So now what I'm trying to do is divide 5 into 5. I need to think of a number that when I multiply it by 5, I will get 5. That's the easy part of the problem. That number is 1. 1 times 5 is 5. When I subtract, once again I get 0. I'd really like to be done with the problem now, but I have to keep in mind there is one more place that has not been accounted for. This last 0 always has to be used in the problem. So I'll bring that number down here and I'm taking 5 into 0. This may be the easiest problem of all. Can you think of a number that when you multiply it by 5 you get 0? I think so. That number is 0. 0 times 5 is 0. There's almost no need for subtraction, but we'll do it anyway. 0 minus 0 is 0. Now what does this mean? It means if they went 2,050 miles in 5 days, they must have averaged 410 miles per, per day. Now we want to check our answer and make sure we did our division correctly, that we didn't lose any accuracy by accounting for those zeros. So we are going to multiply our quotient, 410 miles per day, times the number of days, times 5. 5 times 0 is 0, 5 times 1 is 5, and 5 times 4 is 20. So indeed, our happy couple went 2,050 miles on their five-day trip. We received the shipment of five pallets. One, two, three, four, five. And the total number of books in these five pallets is 8,040. And they're equally divided. How many books are in each one of these pallets? Let's do the math. There are five pallets, and on those five pallets, there are 8,040 books. Now, each pallet happens to be equally divided. And the question is, how many books are on each pallet? So we've got to divide 8,040, divide that by 5. 5 goes into 8 one time, and three left over. Five goes into 30, six times. Five goes into four, and here's where it gets a little tricky. It doesn't go into four. So that's zero, and we carry the four to the next number. Five goes into 40, eight times. So there's 1,608 books. on each pallet. Let's check that. 1,608 times 5. 5 times 8 is 40. Carry the 4. 5 times 0 is 0. 
plus 4, carry it down the 4. 5 times 6 is 30, carry the 3. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 3 is 8. So as you can see, we get the same answer up here, 8,040. That's the same answer here, so the answer checks out. Please pause the video now and complete the problems in your workbook. When finished, press play and we'll continue with the next lesson.